Dean, what else we got? Well, you're going to do what? college Well, then we'll move into college basketball. We're going to uh, move into college basketball, all right? Let's talk about our two state teams. One, the number two ranked Auburn Tigers. Uh, me and Matt watched this game yesterday. Matt. I mean, they just lit it up. I mean, I thought Kentucky played good. And I looked at the stats. Auburn shot 56% from the field, 83% from the line. And about forty or fifty percent from the three point line. That's that's the thing with this with this Auburn group. Um, if y'all haven't watched them play, you need to. You can go back and watch them play anywhere, guys. This this group is it's not it's not uncanny what they're really doing. If you haven't watched them play a few games, they're it's, just better than everybody right now. Uh, I'm serious, and they're number two in the nation. The only reason they're not one is because some rider from Kansas that don't like Pearl. I put think him that's at, what it is. Put him at nine. Yeah, nine. Dropped nine. him five spots from where they were. Which so, we anyway. Well, you know, I talked to a friend of mine from Kentucky. It was kind of like, well, Calipari just got out coached. I'm like, no. They got out shot. They shot 50%, Matt, and 80, 70% from the line. They and were just better. They are just better. They are just better. Yesterday, they were. It I, might be a different story up in Rupp Arena. I don't know. But, uh, I'm telling you, this group of Auburns, they're pretty special. 18 and 1, man. You know. I, don't see, I don't see anybody in the conference beating them. Well, Just pretty, from what I've seen, they could play uh, They could play halfway decent and beat some of these still, teams. Still win. Yes. See Alabama come back on them two or three times and still lost. See, we talked about it during the game, how Auburn is made. Mm-hmm. And the tall kid. Kessler. Seven dunks. Guys, they, they, if you just get close to the rim, Johnson or whoever, and he just throws it up, it's somewhere close, Kessler's going to grab it and slam it. <laughs> Seven dunks. He had 19 <laughs> points, man. 19. Kessler had 19. Jabari Smith, 14. Johnson, 17. Green, 11. For Kentucky, Sheboy had 16 and 14. Grady and Wheeler had 17. Now, me and Matt watched that yesterday, and they set two screens on Severe Wheeler for Kentucky, and – they didn't look bad, did they? And he was just down for the count. Oh man, I I, I don't. I mean, I he was out both. I'm not saying he shouldn't have been, but it just did not look that vicious. You talking and, about the one where he he puts yeah. his shoulder in, into the Auburn Kessler's chest and he comes out of the game? Oh man, he got that hurt. That's, Kentucky. that's ridiculous. He that, scored 17. That's ridiculous. I, I... And Kentucky dropped to 15 and four. That's still a good record. Uh, now moving on to the tie. Oh wait, wait, wait. This weekend, Matt, Auburn plays Oklahoma, and Kentucky plays Kansas. That'll be a big one, Kentucky playing Kansas. And uh, that's a big-time matchup there. Uh, moving on to Alabama. Alabama moved to 13-6. and six. They beat Missouri 86-76. to 76. Uh, That'll be two straight wins for them, kind of get everybody off Nate Oates back. Uh, Shackelford, 21. He's playing good ball this year, man. Shackelford's playing good ball this year. Don't you agree? Yes, I do. Um, I could say, watching him play, watching him play, he's a special kind of talent. He's definitely he, their best he, player. He gets year. up and down the court so well. And not only does he play offense, but he's going to play defense too. Uh, <laughs> this this Bama team kind of got a little rough, rocky start, I guess to say, yeah. off the bat. And well, they're not I, as they're good just, defensively, not, but they lost Jones and Petty. They're not supposed to be as good. No. Uh, if you're going to compare them to Auburn, like how Auburn compares to Alabama football, don't do that. Alabama basketball we don't have to compare ourselves to Auburn. Auburn's just better. The Auburn team basketball is put together top to bottom. They have right. length, they mm-hmm. have experience, they have shooters, they have handlers, they have defenders. They uh, Auburn has got one of the best put together teams, I think, in the country. I heard. I mean, they're number two for a reason. Say the other day that everybody was complaining about Nate Oates' defense, and he's like, "Well, it was Nate Oates' defense last year. He ain't forgot how to. He ain't quit coaching defense." Uh, what is he supposed to do? Uh, J.D. Yeah. Davidson, that's the one with the big hair. We love him, you know, freshman. From Calhoun, Alabama, had 17, and Quinterly had 13. Alabama plays Baylor Saturday. Whoa, ready for that one, baby. Let's get it. Baylor. But, you know, Alabama beat Gonzaga earlier in the year. I don't I don't know if they – right now, it seems like their confidence is a little low. Uh, yeah, yeah, they lost three straight, but, you know, every one of them were two points. One was four, one was two, and one was six. I take that back. They lost three games by a grand total of 12 points. I, I don't – 
I mean, I'm for some Bama. I'm roll tied, but I don't. I don't see them beating better after coming off three straight like that. Their confidence and and any yeah. sport or anything in life, it Dean's always about confidence and believing. Right. Now maybe Coach Oates can put something together and get get them out of their own head. I guess so. We'll we'll see yeah, how it turns out. Well, they're out. playing a little bit better. These two wins will help, and uh, that's pretty much it. Mac and Zaga still number one. Uh, Auburn yeah. two. That's not going to change. Uh, some other teams having good years. LSU and Tennessee are good within the conference. Auburn got up next. Auburn uh, plays Mississippi State, and then they'll play Oklahoma Saturday. No, they play, my bad, they play Missouri early in the week, and then they play Oklahoma Saturday. Big 12 SEC matchup. Be interesting. Big 12 SEC matchup week. I can and the Big 12 is considered better than the SEC. Oh, oh yeah, basketball-wise yeah. for sure. Now, the Texas and Oklahoma tree will be coming over to the SEC pretty well, soon. Would that be for basketball too? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm assuming it would be. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that was a dumb question. I just can't see it. But there's no reason for them to leave in basketball. It's gonna add. It's gonna add some positivity, of course. To, I mean, it's gonna add positivity to our football as well as. Mm, I, yeah, I think I think they'll both compete well. I mean, I'm not saying they're gonna win it, but uh, you better not take them lightly. You know, either one of them, in football or basketball. Who do you – I mean, I know it's too early. And March well, – it's not even February yet, guys. So, yeah. I had somebody ask me who do we like, you know, in like a sweet 16 right now. Oh, we'll, we'll maybe give us February, and we'll I'll let Dean – he'll make a Dean's list to put together for something for a sweet 16, something early. Let's do it in about two weeks. I mean, I can name – Let's wait till after Super Bowl. Three or four teams, yeah. At least – Guys, just a few people ask us to do this. Mm -hmm. Give us a, about two weeks. Let's mm -hmm. get through Super Bowl, and uh, the one, we'll start talking about that. And we're going to get into NFL stuff here in just a little bit for anybody that's interested right. in that Boy, stuff. That's been exciting. Right now, it's <laughs> Buffalo 7, Kansas City 7. We are two minutes warning till halftime. So that's where we're at with that. And uh, three, uh, do you want to move on? I just, oh, co as far as college basketball, that's all I've got. Auburn will remain two. Uh, Gonzaga did not get beat. Alabama should get back in the top 25 or get close to it. And Kentucky probably didn't fall out with just a loss to Auburn at Auburn. And, boy, the people are excited about basketball at Auburn. Did you see all the people that were hanging out down there 24 hours before the game? Oh, really? The oh, tickets? Yeah. Well, they said, you know, I think I talked about last week, <clears throat> the road games are hopping mm -hmm. because you cannot get home game tickets. You can't. Well, that may be can't get home game if you're gonna try to go see auburn at home play that you know it's not gonna happen well, well pearl he brings some excitement uh he's obviously a good recruiter yes. and he's got some he's got some baggage but uh, i mean he's I, done it again this is his second very very excellent team i could see them going deep i like them for a a uh i like eight. them for an elite eight me too i agree i don't think they're going any further than that but i I'll change at least that. Here's what will depend on Auburn making it past Elite Eight. This is just our a guess, and mm -hmm. this is January. Remember, this is January. Yeah, they got a lot of they, ball left. They could stay healthy. Mm -hmm. I like them too. And if they can play with these uh, Gonzagas and USCs and Dukes and those mm -hmm. teams, UCLA is very good this year. UCLA, if mm -hmm. they can play with these teams, Dean, I don't. I mean, if, if they can play with them, but here's the, well, right now they're dead best in the conference I well, oh absolutely no. and i think kentucky second i know last week i said i thought kentucky was better i've got to change my mind on that you can't be a homer for all that <laughs> but i do kentucky but i do think kentucky's auburn and kentucky it, i think alabama it'll come to in their third fourth lsu's good yeah tennessee's good. georgia florida they hadn't uh, uh, third. Georgia's they've been okay. beating each other Ole miss beat somebody the other day i've seen on yeah the floor. they kind of been beating up on each other hadn't I, I'll say with um, Auburn, the way they're built with Kessler and Johnson, and, and we, we covered this last week, and I don't want to repeat myself and beat a dead horse, but they stay healthy. They have the – they just have the right pieces put together. The puzzle is there. Uh, I, I mean, I don't see why they shouldn't make the lead aid. If they stay healthy and they can – something happens, and luck always plays a part of any of these big games – Guys, you don't know what happened. They may. What if they go down there and upset UCLA? I don't They're, know. They could. They're definitely an elite eight team. 